In my opinion, it doesn't really get much more important than the message behind Ozzy. We have a character in the film named Kirani, who uh, at one point she actually mentions that rainforests are the lungs of the planet. And the message of the film is really about preserving rainforests. And yeah, the planet not being habitable for uh, humans would be a pretty big price to pay. So, so yeah, the message to me is, is about as important as it gets. It's an important message because it's about the future of all the spaces on Earth. And it's happening really quickly. I think that the new generation and the kids really need to be part of it and understand it. It's an important impact on the kids. <laughs> now, uh, my body is also attached to my head. J'adore uh, la scène où uh, Ozzy et Chance ont rencontré Moncus pour la première fois, où elle est prisonnière de la boue. J'adore le décor parce que justement, quand on parle de Bambi Effect, c'en est un qui représente bien cet effet. Puis on découvre ce personnage là, complètement farfelu. Uh, ouais, elle est touchante. Uh, J'aime bien Moncus. So beautiful. My favorite character is Onkus. I know she's not the smartest, but she's true to earth. She's just real. She's adorable. I really like her design. She's really, really, really cute. She's always uh, smiling. She's bringing joy to the group. She's always helping and uh, you can relate to her. So that's definitely Onkus. Yeah, baby! That's nice to work on that kind of movie. But I love the three main characters. I like Onkus because uh, she's funny. But uh, yeah, Chance is nice too. Uh, and Ozzy, she's cute, so... <laughs> <laughs> Ozzy is actually my favorite. Yeah. Uh, I actually had, I had to think about this because I do like them all too. But I liked Ozzy a lot because uh, in a lot of animated films, the main character ends up being a little bit flat sometimes. I think because you're trying to play it a little bit safe, you want to make sure that the audience is all really like your main character and stuff. So it causes, it causes you to play things a little bit too safe sometimes, I think. With Ozzy, I think a big part of it is Amanda Stenberg, the, the voice artist who uh, did the voice of Ozzy. Her voice has a real charm and sweetness and appeal to it mm -hmm. and a little bit of humor to it even. So even if she was angry or trying to be mean, even if she was saying something like insulting another character, it was still, you're just like, oh, that's so cute. You're so sweet. <laughs> like you'd be entertained by it. She was never unlikable, you know, I, it, not in my view at least. So yeah, I, I really enjoyed being able to have a, a lead character that was as, uh, entertaining and fun to watch as her. One of the good memory of our, my work is when we had animation reviews. So we would look at the animators' uh, video references that they would shot, and they would impersonate one of the, the animal of the jungle. So that would be an orangutan or an elephant or a crocodile or a snake. And it was really funny to watch and we had a good laugh all together. She's so little and soft! It's genial to pouvoir faire ça, to bosser sur un film d'anime, but en même temps, it's a film politique, a film engagé. C'est à la fois un film d'aventure, un film avec un fond. Donc ça m'a plu de pouvoir bosser sur un film avec ces enjeux. We had some good, strong people on the, on the project. We can be proud of the movie, but we can really be proud of the team. I was lucky that um, I could work with my colleagues that I liked and who were my friends as well. So it was a very special project for me. Being able to work on a film like Ozzy was a, a really special opportunity. I mean, I've loved all the films I've worked on, honestly, but this one did really speak to me on a very uh, individual level. 